Okay, guys, uh, the purpose of that video is it'll be a very short video just to show you how uh, you're not supposed to be relying on any uh, external tools, at least when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator, about your details in regards to the uh, FPS. And uh, what I'm trying to say here is that I'm going to show you here how this is those FPS either through the MSI Afterburner or any or the NVIDIA um, HUD, um, both of them which basically show the same numbers, um, can be very misled based on some uh, actions you do in the flight simulator. Therefore, uh, the information you receive um, on those counters should not be something you rely on getting an absolute or definite uh, FPS in your flight simulator. And I'll give you the example for the first one. Like if I'm gonna if you see here now you have 46 FPS from Afterburner. Same thing also the NVIDIA shows 46, which is pretty much uh in par with what the developer mode of the flight simulator shows here, showing here. But if if you look at it and I opening up the uh, VFR map, okay, which uh on the screen, um Currently everything seems to be fine, but as soon as I will click and export it as a window, as a separate window, you will see a significant difference on the flight per second. Suddenly you see that um, Afterburner shows it's 63, suddenly it gained 20 FPS for no, uh, no reason. So is the um, NVIDIA HUD, which kind of flickering and every now and then showing. Um, it also shows about the same thing. But if you notice, the Flight Simulator Safety and Developer Mode actually reduced the frames from 46, how it was previously, to about around 30 to 31. Therefore, uh, you can see here that um, there's an issue. You, it's hard to rely on those FPSs from those tools when the flight simulators don't believe in when those, two, uh, those uh, frames are actually in practice. Now, as soon as I sh close that window, uh, and bring it back to normal or just close it all together you see the FPS pretty much are aligned um, I'm gonna do the same thing I want to show you also in the air that it's not only limited to the airport it's limited it's also uh, relevant when you're in the air so let me uh, show you that okay we just uh, took off um, from the airport I'm gonna pretty much stabilize myself in the air for a uh, uh, second um, we going to switch to external view you see some FPS impact because of external view that is fine um, now let's go back into the cockpit and you can see 40 FPS on the developer mode the same thing pretty much aligned with what we can see in uh, the Nvidia FPS and so with the afterburner or the reverse statistics uh, server it's the same uh, now I'm going to open up the VFR map um, nothing has changed but it's uh, now I'm going to pop it out and you see this pumped already to 67, 65, same as the NVIDIA where every now and then it shows up. And you can see that um, the flight simulator actually FPS dropped dramatically uh, by popping out that window. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing also in an external view to see to show you that it's not only limited to cockpit view. So let me close this, shut it down, go to external view. Okay, you can see 41, 42, 46, give or take, same thing around here. A little bit hard to see because of the compass that is half blocking it. But let's open up the VFR and pop it out. And you see it increases it to 65 and here it reduces it to 31. Now, I know you guys will probably have an reasonable explanation saying that um, that is because you probably open up the window and it probably captured the other window FPS instead of the main flight simulator FPS which you're probably correct and right I would come to the same conclusion but the idea here is not to find the reasoning why it happened is rather to show you that those tools are in a way not something you can rely on to get a definite and an absolute result of your current true FPS. And as you saw now, um, there's some certain action that I've done in the simulator which changed these FPS numbers, which did not reflect reality. And who knows what other things or changes or actions in the simulator you might uh, be doing that could affect your FPS reading on those external tools. 
Therefore, my conclusion is that uh, those external tools are currently, at least of us now, uh, are not reliable in order for you to read the true FPS reading of your new Flight Simulator uh, 2020. And the only FPS you can rely on currently as of now uh, would be probably the built-in developer mode, um, the FPS counter, which you can pretty much easily um, just uh, access it from here by clicking here, display FPS. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, we learned something out of it. All right, take care, guys. Bye.